Hey everybody, uh, welcome to an E3. Also, uh, hey, actually, quick guys, I'm throwing you out for a loop because uh, it's not just going to be E3. It's also I'm going to bring up the Sonic to thing that happened a few weeks ago. Whoa, too. I didn't see that coming at all. Well, they did. Awful. It, that that was the most fake surprise when really <laughs> it should be real surprise because I didn't even mention that before we started. But yeah, we're going we're going to talk about E3. So um I yeah. I basically watched some YouTube clip shows where they just kind of talked about what was talked about in the, the press, press conferences, but Jesse I watched it live. Yeah. Jesse and Richard, they both actually watched them. More of them than I did. The only one I technically really watched was the Nintendo one, and of course I watched the Sonic one. So yeah, we're we're gonna go through some of them, but I think should we start with Sonic? Because yeah. Sonic did pop up at E3, but not for a little while. So Wait, he did. I I didn't. Hear yes, he that. did. Yes, he did. He popped uh, up at E3 twice. Uh, yo, oh, Sonic sped in. When when was this? Okay, so Sonic. It showed all of uh, what's the what's the first? It's Aquatic Trop- Park, right? No, or Tropical, Tropical Resort. Yeah, they showed all of Act Two of Tropical Resort during the Future Game Show, and then they kind of silently confirmed that depending on what version of Monkey Ball you get, uh, Sonic and Tails will be playable. Um, they also implied that Wait, a Sega what? Saturn, a Sega and Genesis. What do you mean by which version of Monkey Ball? Yeah, well, okay. there's a digital deluxe and a physical deluxe edition that have different perks, and one of the editions lets you play as a Dreamcast inside the Monkey Ball. A hidden arc where just Sonic Tales would be peculiar. Pebble characters has been found. In Sonic because Sonic was Ball. playable in Banana Blitz HD. Oh, it's so it's adorable. It's classic tales. He's so cute. Yeah, he's so cute. I freaking love so, classic tales. <laughs> I yes, I watched a majority of the shows, and uh, my my pre the I'll get into some extended thoughts as we go game to game, show to show, et cetera, et cetera. But I will say right now that this was a really good E3 for tactics game fans <laughs> with. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Metal well, Slug Tactics, Mario and Rabbids in Advance Wars. Um, <laughs> this was a really good E3 for Tactics game fans. <laughs> uh, which uh, again, I I am not per se. Yes. Uh. So, um. If we want to start off the conference, then we will start with the Summer Game Fest, which was kind of like the, the kickoff show. Our our good friend Jeff Keeley from the Game Awards hosted this one. Ew, okay, that's gross. Ew. He showed up in his loud, obnoxious sneakers that he wore at the Game Awards. He, he did his whole thing where he wears a three-piece suit and then, like, Nikes. Oh, wait, to look yeah, I, I I remember I remember that now. Like <laughs> it was like he looks he looks good all the way from the top, but not down to his shoes. Like yeah, tacky. So at the at the Summer Game Awards, we also had Jeff Goldblum announce uh kind of a what is it a Jurassic World Evolution sequel, but it's crazy that they got Jeff Goldblum to do that. You. I, oh. well, he's part of the series, so it makes sense. No, 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 I'm I'm talking more about just Jurassic World. Jurassic World Two still leaves a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> so, so we had that. We had Metal Slug Tactics, which I personally am a little hyped for, and the reason why I say that is because it is being helmed by the studio that brought us Streets of Rage Four, and is helming the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge game in the fall so the sprite work already looked amazing that was my first like i was content with that little do i know that there were a lot of surprises up ahead for for all of us (laughs) uh there was there was like really me in particular there was like one surprise that was it there's but only one highlight 
Oh yeah, oh what? yeah, and also Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are in Brawlhalla. Oh yep. Oh, no. that... Apparently, there's also a new animated movie coming of the turtles. Hmm. Are you in the void? Oh no, I'm not in the void. Why did why did Majeshi suddenly mute? He was talking. And then he's talking. We're talking to Ninja Turtles. Like, did you mute Acc yourself? Yeah, that was you an accident. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Okay. So, so next up after that, we had Day of the Dev, which was like this indie game showcase. It was really nice. There were indie games took E3 by storm. Every conference had at least one indie game in it. Most of them had indie games that I did want, but Game of the Day of the Dev was nice. We got some Axiom Verge 2 gameplay. This was hosted by Ed McMillan. Was he and Dub like a villain? Was. So it was it was a very nice little presentation where we got tons of indie reveals. And that was that was pretty fun. That was the end of day one. It, it, day zero, actually. A lot of people consider the next day. A lot of people consider Ubisoft and Square and Microsoft day one. Which, uh... Let's get the stinker out of the room right away. I think Square Enix is one of the losers of E3. Hey, now! From, from what I've heard, uh, I, I think I can... I, I side more on the uh, Jesse spectrum this one than they do the original. So people were not happy that most of this conference was spent on Marvel because Guardians took up 25 minutes of their 50 minute conference. And then they and spent another 8 minutes on Avengers. <laughs> um, say, say that again? Uh, what, what game? I don't, Guardians I'm not, of the Galaxy no, no, and then no, Avengers. I, like, Avengers? Yeah, Marvel's are, Avengers? I I don't Are you talking about that old uh, arcade game? The one No, the, the multiplayer the one. one. It, it had Modoc and Miss Marvel. It's the one that has vision, right? It has, it no, is, it has a white vision. vision from that very specific time period, like of the comics. Oh. No. Huh. no. Well, I I'm I'm unfamiliar with this one then. I don't know what you're talking about. You played it last year. You were on PSN telling us that you loved that game. He's treating Marvel Avengers as a black sheep, or he's just memeing. Go with it, or get out of it. <laughs> yeah, what Richard said. Get with the joke, dude. It was a joke. So, that was Square Enix's conference. A lot of it. Then they, they're making Final Fantasy Souls, which was accompanied by a lovely demo that didn't work for two days. Hey, technical issues, they got it fixed. People are playing Then it. they ported 1 through 6 yeah, on least. only Steam and mobile, which everybody was very angry about that. Uh, okay, yeah, that... that. Uh, also, okay, some people are angry, some people are pleased that they uh, can still play the pixel remastered versions of 1 through 6. And, and, and eventually also, they'll get ported to other consoles. It's just uh, not off they, off straight. They they did they 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 did bomb one thing with with that in particular though. Instead of being like, here's the Final Fantasy collection. They're like, yeah, you got to buy selling all these them all separately. No one's going to buy Final Fantasy 1. Or two. Like, no one's gonna buy two. The one where you have to hit yourself in order to gain EXP. Uh, He's sitting here with the one and two combo on PS1 disc. I'm. I'm not. Um. I'm. I'm not gonna lie though. If they did make a Final Fantasy collection, like of the first like six games, I would buy it. I because I've never played any of those, and um, I wouldn't mind. Uh, you know, having a chance to play it. I mean, they're they're sprite remastered, so it's higher definition or at least more modernized. I mean, but like, if if it was all one collection, because then that way I could play through some of them and kind of 
And if they're on Steam, they're going to eventually all go on cheap sales. So no, okay. instead of paying like good point. ten dollars for one, you're going to be spending like maybe fifteen dollars in total on all six. Yeah, it's, okay. You got me with the Steam. Steam. So, so that happened. So a lot of people were not very pleased with with Square, but. In the morning, okay. we had... Okay, naysayers. Good. A lot of people well, aren't pleased with other things people are pleased about. It's all the point of view and the crystal people look through. Actually, I'll lenses. say that Square isn't the biggest loser for me. I'd say that's Namco Bandai. Well, okay, well, well, they just completely re-envisioned or whatever and changed it to, like, it's just them presenting the one game, which really upset me by heart because I was looking forward to Tales, but you were hoping a later story. Scarlet Nexus was that one game. I don't know. I was There's... looking for tales, but that's a different story. That's down the line. We're jumping days. <laughs> okay, oh, hey, uh, so yeah, hey, hey, so the uh, morning. Richard, no, wait, no, hey, wait, uh, Richard. Oh, yeah. Um, tales, tales might actually be in um, uh, Super Monkey Ball, actually. So that you, you might. Oh my you might god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're talking homophones here, but yes, I appreciate no, that. I, tales okay. is my guy in the Sonic so, series. I, I, also, because uh, also, I I think one thing we gotta talk about is um. We we can't just have like, to go we, back in time. Yeah, we gotta go back in time because because I want to know you guys' thoughts. We're on We're two Guardians. presentations. Uh, uh, well, no, I mean like not that far back. It's we don't need to we don't need to necessarily take um a a like talk about the entire E three all in one continuous. Oh, game. I was talking just, Sonic and Dragon Quest. Those right. two. Uh, no, well, and what I'm trying to say is, let's go back because you brought up Guardians of the Galaxy, and I joked, yes. I did my Marvel joke, but we did actually talk about our thoughts okay. on Guardians, like because okay. Guardians oh, yeah. was one of the ones I wanted to kind of, and it did take up quite a bit of space. Like they showed up all. But first off, there is one glaring issue with Guardians, in my opinion, that I hope is fixed. Uh, the fact that you can only play a Star Lord. No, the game ran like shit. Right, well, what are you talking about? There were frame skips left and right. It was more it's, choppy. Okay, it's oh. a it's a shadow drop game that has still months until official release. That was yeah, a beta so or so version. I hope it got fixed. Uh, and also, it's gonna it, get fixed. It, the, the the other thing is, it, <laughs> they said it, that it, about it, Avengers. <laughs> okay, there are still day one patches for many other games. And also, also besides the, wonky war tables and camera issues, the the difference Lost too with, with uh, Avengers, the the issues were not technical. The issues were um, implementation of various uh, you know microtransactions and such, and um, just overall like kind of lack of content in the gameplay. And the story is good, and then it's just the multiplayer just seemed oh. like an after effect. It, 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 yeah, the, it's the, not well, what a crystal dynamics is strong points. Yeah, it, it really should like it should have been a single player. Um, I don't know, like, cause, cause, like, okay, here's here's the weird thing about this. Like, Guardians is is like it looks very similar to the Avengers, but it's got one glaring difference, and the fact is, like, the Avengers. The the whole gimmick was you can play as uh you know like Hulk, Captain America, like all the adventures. Uh Guardians, you could play as Star Lord on a team from his of, of like with six other characters that you I can I know a lot of people probably would want to play as Groot oh, if they yeah. had the option. As Groot Raccoon. But from what I got it, it's okay, four. Star four, Lord four. through his Point of view or so, and depending on the decisions you make, it changes the outcome of the story. Now, let's also talk Either about dramatic the fact or that minorly. For YouTubers and streamers alike, this game is going to be a DMCA nightmare. Uh, it's music. Like, if it's got the hub available, then I guess they just don't go to the hub. Right. Because they well, were playing the I played. Need a Hero. They were playing a ton of 80s music throughout the whole presentation of that okay, game that's if you were on the dmca it allowed but for streamers who were broadcasting it, there was a dmca friendly version of that for them right I, I i think um i i made a rant on my with my live stream playing sonic roboblast 2 but i kind of hate the fact that like 
the Guardians movie was like, hey, you know, Star Lord, he's like, he 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 likes eighties music. You guys, he he was he's totally an eighties kid. Trust me. And like, meanwhile, the comic book version is like not that. And then, but now now in in the the popular um consciousness of uh you know the Guardians now, uh they are eternally linked with. Hey, you like eighties music, eighties pop music, right? Yeah, well, it's Guardians Galaxy, everybody. Okay, my rant's over. That's that's just. I feel like I feel like they took a good thing and kind of um, merchandise. I'm it. I'm cautiously optimistic for the Guardians game. I think it. I I like the choice system. I like how that affects like the missions, like how. If you like when they joke around, oh, who who would we vote off first? And if you pick Rocket over Groot, then Rocket in the next mission is going to be like really upset with you. Um, I I personally think it might be fun. Is it a game I'll get day one? No, because it's coming out in October, which is we'll get to it. The oh oh, nin- did you just say October? Uh, yeah, not, October twenty sixth. Right now, though, because we're kind of going through a time. Uh, yeah. Time. So that morning before Square, we were greeted with the wholesome direct, which was great. We got a direct of Animal Crossing Stardew Valley <laughs> puzzle style games. Wait, hey, you just you skipped an entire day. You you skipped way ahead. No, no, dude. that was the same day as Square and Ubisoft. No, it wasn't. It was on Wait, Tuesday. When... Oh, Ubisoft and Square completely direct. different days. It's called the Wholesome Direct. It oh. was literally... It well, was then why separate... are you talking about Animal Crossing? Because No, I said Animal Crossing-styled games. Well, you said you started the sentence with Animal oh. Crossing. So okay, well, I thought we got and... this Direct that was really fun. It was called the Wholesome Direct. We got a bunch of life sim games and puzzle games that had really cute art styles. There's one that stood out to me called Amber Isle, which is essentially Animal Crossing, but replace all the villagers with dinosaurs. I... Mm. I... Okay, Amber is fossils. I get it. I... Yeah. I'm. It doesn't sound that interesting, cause like yeah. So we got that. Cause cause one of my one of my big problems with like Animal Crossing, and Stardew Valley, that like, is like, most of the NPCs you talk to, like in Stardew Valley, like the my big thing is like, they they like, say the same stock phrases at certain times of the day, and it never really changes. Even like even when you get married, you don't get a whole lot of like unique dialogue it's just like made you a sandwich honey here and put it in your bag oh i love being at this farm town now oh right. no they changed it they had an update where your spouse can like go down into the mine with you and stuff like that all right well but but i mean so that, that was that's my one complaint with stardew valley and then the uh, my complaint with animal crossing is like you have all these villagers but they basically just like hey i like I like insect hunting. Do you do you want? Hey, look, I got a net. Hey, uh, I'm thinking about moving. Should I move? Hey, we'll, we'll get to Animal Crossing nickname. in a minute. I have a nickname, uh, but I don't like it. So give me a new one. And then okay, we're we'll, getting bogged down. And yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah we'll, no. we'll get to that later. But anyway, so that was the wholesome direct. Then there was Square. Then we had Microsoft, and Microsoft, I think, was a real treat. Microsoft was before Square. Oh, okay. Oh crap. Yeah, I got an idea. Here, we'll go like this. You free timeline. This way, any uh, time paradoxes that you commit here, Jesse, <laughs> is um... subject to the. What are they freaking called in Loki? Uh, uh, EVA. Yeah. The. <laughs> Okay. Owen Wilson's just gonna show up in my in my bedroom. So it was it, apparently. Or a variant. Yeah. You must work for us. According to this, you know what? I'll work for. I'll work with Owen Wilson any day. So, um, Summer Games Fest 2021. So I was right oh, about no. the first part. Let's go. Uh, okay, this was this is like this is garbage. This what? Uh, no. Hey, you guys want to get? You want to sign up for our email? No, I don't. I want to find a timeline that is in <laughs> chronological order. Okay, here we go. No, this doesn't have everything. I need oh everything. Gosh. Oh, okay. Oh my okay. gosh! Here we go. This is... <laughs> Saturday, Saturday, June twelfth was 
broadcast pre-show, Ubisoft, uh, Gearbox, Games Beat wait, Session. Wait, where was Wholesome Direct? That was a thing. I watched it. Um. Uh, hey, Verizon and Intellivision had uh, any showcase? No, that's not it either. Um. It's probably somewhere in there. They don't have they did there it's not okay. on this discussed thing. it. So next up we'll go with Ubisoft before Microsoft then. I, yeah, this is I how Ubisoft hard Ubisoft showed off Far Cry six, which did you two know is not a political game at all, according to Ubisoft. Um, Far Cry has never been a political series. Or so scoff, scoff. Okay, what's what? Scott, what, Scott. Are you, what are you implying here? What's the? Oh the... no, Ubisoft themselves said that Far Cry is not political. It seems while to... being very political. Okay, let's see. Does Tech Radar have this? Does it? Have oh any... my gosh, Scott oh. is on the hunt for that time. Uh, June. Why is this? Oh, is this like last year? Uh, no, there's there like... was no four... E3 okay. last this year. Four four days ago. Like this was written four days ago. But they have, like, Warhammer Skulls Showcase, June 3rd. Below, we've rounded up the biggest showcases that p- took part June 3rd, that ju- June 5th, June 9th. This isn't E3. This is, like, pre-3. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Uh, it's so, chaos. Okay, so apparently... Pure chaos. June, uh, oh, June 12th. Here we go. Okay. Uh, the Gorilla Collective, day two. IGN Expo. Okay, it, the Wholesome Direct, Ubisoft, and Gearbox were, like, the, that Saturday. Okay. Xbox and Bethesda, uh, Square Enix, Warner Bros., PC Gaming Show, Future Game Show were all on Sunday. Take-Two Interactive, Capcom, Razer were June 15, or 14. Then ca- and then uh, future game show and also indies were on that Monday. There was uh... Uh, no the future game show was on that Sunday. Ah, uh, and then Nintendo all these indies Nintendo with Freedom and, and Mystics and, and a few others. Okay, it, the, the clear, clear. It, it, I confused everything and threw everything off track. Sorry. Hey, time paradoxes, time shenanigans. It happens. Oh, Steam Next Fest is next week, you guys. Okay. Oh, so, oh, after the Wholesome Direct was Ubisoft, which, let's discuss that, they had Far Cry 6, had Tom Clancy, they had some shooters, but then a game that was leaked that afternoon was Mario and Rabbids 2. Thoughts? Thoughts on the footage? Uh, I... I, I think I've only seen the trailer once, so I'm going to I'm gonna quick... I still have only heard about this and seen the artwork. I have not seen the footage. Oh, uh, okay, Star well, Luma is cursed. Star Rabbids Luma is freaking nightmare fuel. There go, Rabbids 2. Rabbids, Rabbids Luma. On Luma. Oh, yeah, Innocent Luma has yeah. now been traumatized. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. Ubisoft. Sorry, Nintendo, but yeah, that Luma has been traumatized. Yeah, I, yeah that Luma looks like Hot garbage. I Rabbit Lo- Rosalina is a big mood because she does not want to be there. I. I it's different than Rabbit Peach always in her cell phone, I guess. Yeah, but this Rabbit Rosalina, literally, even the Nintendo Direct, which we'll get to later, was like, "This Rabbit is she bored already?" Because she like rolls her eyes and then picks up her weapon. I I just like. It, it, man, like it. it conf- the production values on the CGI is great. It, it confuses me so much. It, it, like, like, wh- why? Uh, I still. It's been okay. What what year? What year did the original rabbits come out? Was it 2017? Okay, 2017. It, it was a Switch launch title. It's it's four. It's been four years, and I still cannot express. 
how weird it is that it exists in the first place. And the fact now that I live in a universe where there are two of them confuses me even more. It is isn't a weird that, crossover Scott, that the Raymond that Rabbits came dude? to Mario, but it was a very enjoyable game to play through. I'm it looking forward super, to the second. It was fun. It had fun writing. And this one? Okay, time for me to flex my... I played the game all the way through. Even if I had to use easy modes, Bowser Jr., I'm looking at you muscles. <laughs> also, you bought the DLC without owning the game. <laughs> yeah, I borrowed the game from Scott's brother. Oh, yeah, and you then it a downloaded times. the DLC and played it. <laughs> Now I own the game in its entire form with the DLC. Um, so, first of all, there is one key difference to this besides the original character in the front with the, with the green hair. Everyone is rocking different weapons besides just guns. Also, who is the bad guy? Why does he look like a, a Sonic character? I don't know. Uh, also, why... like. Okay, there's like a rabbit with a mask and like a hood. I'm I'm watching the footage right now. I like, like yeah. he reminds me of something and I do not know what. Also a shy I, guy. Wait, no, okay. And also I was wrong. Well, I don't know why I said why does he look like Sonic? Why does he look like Ganondorf? He just looks like a rabid Ganondorf. I and don't know. Looks, and then the big the big tent oh, monster. Tent makes dog. I don't want a rapid <laughs> link crossover. Oh uh, no, no, I do not want that either. Don't give <laughs> many ideas. Coming to Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity DLC. <laughs> oh, oh, good. I got. Well, that can't be DLC. No, take the game by DLCing it. Just make it but, a different game. Okay, so first of all, the characters are using different weapons. We have a sword user. Um. Rosalina, Abed Rosalina has what looks like a bomb on a string. Bomb. And, <laughs> and um, Luigi has a bow. And, and Peach, Peach has a parasol. Yep, Peach has a parasol with a cannon on top. So looks it like looks like they're expanding. The game is expanding on what it was before. Where everybody just had a gun. Mario, Rabbit Mario, is really into this new character. He had the hard eyes and everything. Oh, he was. Um, I missed that. I, I'm gonna go back and and send it through the analysis machine. Copyright. Uh, game uh, well, what, where's the hard eyes? What, where does that? Um, happen? it might be from the Nintendo Direct, but the footage that they showed Rabbit Mario has like hard eyes when she shows up. Where, where, when is it? Where, where, like? Um, okay, okay, I'll look up the Nintendo. I'll um, look up Nintendo. Um, so on. that was the big thing from Ubisoft. Yep. Big thing. Then, so who's yeah. next on the timeline? Uh, I don't have the website up anymore. So uh, Dang it. one of one of the things. Uh, was it? Oh wait, no, that's the original one. Uh, that's just the same trailer. What was it? Was it in the treehouse? Was in, was it no, he had the hard eyes in the footage. I remember but, that. Yeah, but but what what where who who, who Rabbit Mario who? does? Or, I know, but when oh well, when does Rabbit Mario even show up? He's not in the trailer. Just Mario. So where is his hard the eyes? The Nintendo Direct one that she I, runs I am by. Looking at it. It right is now. a split second. Well, damn! I, how come I'm not finding Rabbit Mario anywhere? He's not in this trailer. I am looking. Look. Right, Go frame by frame if you have to. <laughs> okay. Um. Ow. Okay. Well, uh, anyway, continue. <laughs> continue going. I'll. I'll find this. Okay. I need so to, I think I what's next is Xbox. Uh yeah. Yeah. Or well, you briefly talked Xbox. about Xbox. So. But. Xbox had some Bethesda games. Oh yeah, also Summer Game Fest. Their big thing was Elden Ring, which is the next Dark Souls style game. Dark Souls. I don't think any of us here care about that. Okay, this is I, I'm on. Oh. The, okay, yeah, I'm about to. I think the only Dark Souls game that Richard cares about is kind of that Final Fantasy one that we discussed from um, Square. Also, uh, it yeah. 
It's Fallen Jedi Fallen. It's because it's Final Fantasy. I gotta give it a try. That's a good. That's so fun. yeah, thoughts on the demo when it did work, Richard? Uh, you can't trust me on that because I am not a Souls person, so I had a really rough time playing through it because <laughs> I'm not used to the mechanics. Are you going to pick up the game, or do you think you're set with this demo? I gotta give the demo another shot to give the game a fair shot, but depending on how everything goes, I might pick it up, or I might just watch people. Oh. Hey, you, you, are you saying... Okay. You to... yeah, okay, so I found the heart situation. Are you implying that Rabbit Mario is gay for the green green guy? I don't know the gender of. Uh, I mean, I guess yeah. Who am I to assume the, the gender? Yes, but we know that no matter what, Rabbit Mario has the hard eyes for this character. Well, I mean, it it could be though. He got the hard eyes because he wants to be like him because he's so cool. Okay. Um. This is enough discussing uh, rabbits. Uh, continue about the Microsoft. Or the so Microsoft. Xbox opened with this like space game that's made by Bethesda that I forgot yeah, like, the name literally, of. Literally, literally, I think they only showed the trailer or, or the the logo for Skyrim it. in space. And everybody's mad because it's Xbox exclusive. I'm. I'm not. It's think. either official exclusive or it might be timed exclusive. Oh that no! It's official Xbox. exclusive. Microsoft okay. bought Bethesda. They are going to make some of those just theirs. So then they they showed off. Oh yeah! Then we got Pirates of the Caribbean for free in Sea of Thieves. That that actually was kind of cool enough, and uh, zero out of ten, no Barbosa was shown. Con- convinced me that I kind of want to get to. Or I've I've wanted to get to Thieves for a while. I'm gonna get a no Barbosa. Barbosa. Okay, so after that, we had quite a few shooty games, but then this was a big surprise. We got Slime Rancher Two. Which I don't think will be a console exclusive. We got that and Psychonauts 2 back to back, which Psychonauts is a crowdfunded game, so we know that one will wind up on other platforms. Yeah. So we got those. We got Slime Rancher 2. I'm really excited for that one. It was it looked like a ton of fun. And then they spent a lot of their conference on Halo. And um, Halo showed off like, hey, multiplayer is free in the campaign you can buy. So a lot of people are excited because then they some people only get Halo for the multiplayer. So that's going to be free. I'm, I'm indifferent. I'd ever get Halo. I'm just getting it for the story. And three, huh. three, three, four, three hasn't impressed me. So I'm, I'm like real, real on the fence. So yeah. So that was Microsoft. They had a very good conference. They had a lot of variety. They had some sports games. They had this like extreme sports game that's going to be like a battle royale. There's it's also, a, like, that, that Left 4 Dead. Oh, Back, oh, back for, for Blood. Blood. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, and there's they had a vampire, vampire game. Oh, bite Back. Yeah. Bite Back. That actually, like, the, the little bit I saw, or the little little image I saw of it, looked kind of dope. Yeah. And then they I, ended their conference with the fridge. Yeah, Jesse is going to buy said fridge. I am. I have room in the nerd lair for a fridge. So, yeah, give it to me. Of a mini size proportion. Either that or the Mountain Dew fridge that I saw that's at Walmart for $30. I feel like that just, I want to put stickers all over the Mountain Dew fridge. It says gamer. Like, (laughs) 
You you should you should buy the Mountain Dew fridge and then just put a bunch of Coke stickers on it. Such controversy. Yes. I wrapped up day two. Were some winners for some like Guardians of the Galaxy? Were some people who over frustratedly tried to install the demo on a game that did not work? And for some reason, like one guy. Oh, I wasn't. That wasn't me. I just kept freaking out about Slime Rancher too. I don't. I. I still don't. I own or I. I have Slime Rancher. Or I played it on Xbox, like one, and I do not understand the appeal. It's. I have the deluxe edition of that game. I have the collector's box. I oh, have. Also, hey, hey, I am. I'm. I am. I am airing some dirty laundry here, real quick. Uh you said Alex Kid comes out like yesterday. You you lied. You you brought up collector edition. And that made me think Alex Kid. You're gonna put like, like my. You're gonna put like a. You're gonna put like some cartoon version of me in the thumbnail. It's gonna say liar on it. <laughs> I'm. I'm so confused though. Like what? Is, I don't. I don't. What is the appeal of Slime Ranger? Why does it have? I. Why is it it's have very a 10 relaxing? Out of, ten out of ten on on Steam. It's it's really it's relaxing. Ten out of ten. It's perfect perfect game. I don't get it. Ninety eight percent this game. Now is that user rating or is that critic rating? Okay, this one's sixty nine percent on Metacritic. So it, it was it, written it, by it, Scott. The <laughs> uh, uh, user score is seven point one. Yeah, oh, there are some people who didn't get into it, but I know that people who like a chill game, including me, Slime Rancher is great. You just ranch the slimes, and you put them in the thing, and they poop out resources, and you feed that to other slimes, and they poop out more, and uh, it's fun. To this, according to this review, I have a PS4 Pro, and the game caused my system to overheat and shut down every <laughs> time I try to use it. <laughs> This could be repeated consistently. A broken di- game deserves a zero rating. And that was April 23rd, 2021. Oh, but also, how to loot. Um, it's it's one of these great ads. I, I hate cell phone game ads. Okay, continue. Okay, we're detracting again. Yeah. Okay, so the next day arose, and we had some really great shows. So let's dive in. First off, so Sony, we should discuss this really quick. Sony was nowhere to be found. I think from what I heard, they they're they're gonna have like a a separate um reveal at a later date. They're gonna have a stay to play, which freaking suck. Uh, let's see. What are you talking about? This is not for you. Then we just go through these conversations. Uh, what is it called? Is it? Oh, you know about the whole relaxing of the slime rancher and saying it wasn't for Scott necessarily. No, state of play or it's not that they're bad because of the games or that the games aren't for me. They are badly presented. Unlike the Sonic one, that was perfect. Sonic soon to be in Two Point Hospital. They could, they could have, I guess, they had a little bit. Yeah, of I don't know how I feel about that one. I, Sonic I, in Two Point Hospital and Sonic in the other Olympics game that doesn't have Mario in it. It's just the mascot and, suit. And Sonic is a playable arcade character and not one fighters. Yakuza. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's um. Which is the fact realize. that we're getting Sonic 3 on consoles finally, but it's not till next year. I was I was confused the whole time that they showed the um the the judgment game. Because I thought that uh it was um it was like a uh just the the um because they're they, they have like a PS5 version of Judgment or like Judgment coming up, I think. And yeah. Uh, apparently, actually, though, they were talking about Lost Judgment, which is a sequel to Judgment, which I have on PS4 and have yet to play, but I really want to play it because it looked kind of cool. But, okay. Yeah. And then we got the Sonic Collection 
We got Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3 finally coming to modern console. Yeah, in widescreen. They, um, in they, what? Like uh, a few days after they uh, announced that it was going to be in, uh, or because people people were, were worried that the collection was going to just be the original games emulated on a collection like they've done consistently before. But they, they confirmed that they'll be in widescreen. I don't know if that also means that, because uh, if, if, if the, yeah, I think it'd be cool. I don't know if it will happen, but if uh, they did the Christian Whitehead versions that were exclusively on the Android and iOS devices of Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, as well as Sonic CD, the Christian Whitehead versions, and it would be cool. I doubt it would happen. Sonic cool Adventure if, 1 and 2. Uh, no, it would be cool if uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, if they Christian Whitehead and the guys built that from the ground up, too. Like if no. Because like, they, they, they took a lot of really good things from the classics and just modernized and made Hear me them. out. And added a bunch of cool features. This isn't a legitimate collection. Screen. This isn't a legitimate collection. Less mean bean machine, isn't it? Oh uh, no, you're a liar. Okay. I mean, mean. I'm not gonna lie. Mean bean machine. Good, but um, no. I um, I I refuse to acknowledge this collection I, as legitimate unless I, mean I've bean been, machine hey, yeah, isn't I've been it. Making, I've been making a lot of jokes. Okay. This is some. This is a. This this is a very important uh, topic we are discussing right now. So we got Sonic Colors to... as well announced with Baby Sonic from the movie Keychain. Did they just have these in a bunch of warehouses or? Well, I'm I'm not buying that set. I'm buying the digital. I, I don't so you can care. play it I don't at care midnight. About a keychain of the Sonic movie Sonic. Well, they said there's going to be Sonic movie content included. With the physical edition, which makes me wonder if the next movie is going to tie colors into the movie. No, I, I think what I think what's more likely is that maybe there's a skin that makes you look like the movie Sonic. Uh. Hey, quick review of the Sonic movie. It's really good. I like it. I need to rewatch it again. It's a decent yeah. movie. They I they know watching that movie. Me Wait, you me died and... twice. Yeah, when Sonic flossed. I sure okay. died inside when Sonic flossed twice. Uh, oh, oh, I get what you're saying. I actually, I, I Scott, died oh, Scott died inside because the guy at the movie theater wouldn't stop laughing at every joke very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> Every joke, the guy, even like during like the Peter Rabbit show, this guy was like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, okay, you. <laughs> Quick, quick aside about movie theaters. You can tell if it tell type of person you're sitting around if when the trailers start playing and they they have any sort of joke, and the guy laughs. Not not a huh, that was that was clever or a like like a like a he. Uh, no, you get a like. <laughs> um, we that, had that the whole movie. Oh. That's bad, that bad experience. I didn't like it. Although it was pretty fun watching it with Scott because the magic in his eyes when him and I looked at each other and they had the Sega. Lo First of all, they had the Sega logo where they showed like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 like form into the Sega and stuff like that. Like they had all the Sega games. But then when him and I looked at each other with our mouths wide open. Cause they, they because they friends used by uh, the Potion. Sonic Mania music in the opening. No, no it's Friends by Hyper Potion, I think. Or, friends or, by is Hyper it, Potion. Is it, is it, I'm gonna double check. It's in Mania. That's in the Fact. animated opening in Mania. Fact. Fact check myself. I know, but I'm just double checking. Like, I want to make sure that I have the right... The right it's called Friends. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm verifying. Yeah, it's Friends. But, but yeah, yeah. Oh, but, oh, darn it! And then oh, we got okay, Sonic colors, and then we got Sonic yeah. running through the woods. Save. And Sonic okay, tore down I a bunch. I can't wait of... for that game to come out. Sonic tore down a bunch of trees. Sonic said, "Screw you, environment, and screw you, Lorax," and then he spelled twenty twenty two. Well, hey, we no, he didn't. didn't say screw you, Lorax. He, he didn't spell twenty twenty two. 
He did. No, he didn't. He ran. He ran through the woods. He knocked down all the trees. Laura didn't knock him down. It was his light that shone the symbols. Okay. I'm watching this trailer. I thought he was right tearing now. down trees by running through them. No, he's oh. like he's running in the grass, and you get the pixels like uh, a, like a wisp, and then you get the Sonic Team logo because I'm watching it right now. He spins around the tree and makes a loop, and then it spells uh, Zap. Okay, what? Or or some sort of logo something. Yeah, they're logos, and then it just comes up on the screen like, as 2022. Because I mean, if you look at it, it looks kind of like it says Zap, but that's not the thing. But also, according to some rumors and stuff, this could be a game called Sonic Rangers. I, uh, they, if it's they, anything like Sonic Heroes, it's going to be a piece of garbage. Well, they say they say hey, that it's actually Sonic going to be fun. taking inspiration from Breath of the Wild and have open world and like this game open design. world Sonic. Open, just give me a hundred piece soundtrack with open world Sonic. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh, make it open world Sonic. If it's open world Sonic, I will forgive them the abomination that was Sonic Forces. Okay, and okay, you and Sonic are dumb, dumb. I hate you're the most hyperbolic person when it comes to Sonic Forces. It's not a Sonic bad peaked game. in Sonic Three and Knuckles, no. and you know it. No, that's a lie. I'm I'm actually probably one of the worst like Sonic people because I am apologetic. You have hot Sonic. takes. Yeah, I have, have some hot very takes. hot takes and some very um neutered takes too. As in like I'm one of the people who's like I played some of Sonic 06. I did not hate it. It was not a terrible experience. You also, it was actually kind Secret of fun. Ring. you also like Secret Rings. Which uh, is no, I don't. Me. I don't like. Secret okay, so there I've is only some sense. I've played a little bit of Secret Rings. It's amazing. Secret Rings is garbage. Black Knight is slight. All I will give Black Knight over Secret Rings also is that you can use GameCube controller and Black Knight, and the the soundtrack in Black up. Knight is. Uh, the 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 soundtrack in Black Knight though, Whoa! like that. All the... yeah. also also um what I was gonna say uh what, what were you... oh Sonic Forces is not an awful game. It's actually probably one of the most average and just least. So you're saying it's Sonic not games. great. You're saying it's in the middle. I'm no, saying, I will give I... Sonic Forces this. It is better than Lost World. In fact, Lost. I'm... Uh, Actually, I I would I will disagree with you there. I I think I would. Uh, the I only know. thing okay, Lost okay, World has is a boss good. fight that has he, a banjo. Okay, okay. Nick. How about this? How about this? Let's save this for another another time because I I could talk Sonic all the time, but we yeah we we about. probably could. Okay, so let's okay. go back to E three. Right, well, oh wait, wait. wait, no, actually, because we didn't also there's Sonic twenty twenty two. I don't really care to talk about that because. There's so little actual real information at the moment that it's not. There's not much to talk. But then about. Scott also got I, another game no, before wait, E3, wait, which wait, was wait, Dragon wait, Quest wait, Three, wait, to make no, it look like yo, Octopath. Dude, I, d d d back it up, man. I am. I'm. <laughs> you are. You trying to run me over? Um. Also got sorry. a few more than just Dragon Quest Three, but because I was gonna say, uh, Sonic. We didn't really even talk about Sonic Colors and what we want to see from Sonic Colors oh. and what we think about it. Because Still need to play oh. the original. I'm excited. Oh, I'm and... hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped, hey. and hopefully, I think my guess is that they're going to put the the boss fight that was exclusive to the DS version in this version against the Mother Wisp. I'm... That's one of my guesses. That would be cool. It would also then make people who'd never played Sonic Colors on the DS um, not be nearly as confused as to why there's a giant pink floating wisp in Team Sonic Racing on the Planet Wisp stage. But I'm very interested in when they come out with the animated series, or at least a little short set they're oh, yeah. planning. Yeah, because cause Roger Craig Smith is back. He's back. That's cool. I mean, he, he quit. I don't... I'm so confused... Like why he's like, hey guys, should quit, and then and then like a few months later, hey guys, I'm back. Uh, but um, uh, uh, uh yeah, he's he's gonna be he's gonna be he's gonna be voice acting in those clips. 
and oh that's we, right we're getting is that on top of the netflix series uh, yeah, or is there, that the netflix is, series or no the, the 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 there's two two episodes of like an animated sonic colors thing and that's gonna be like remember um when they did the little animations for sonic mania and yes um, team sonic racing and stuff on youtube yes it's that's that's what those are um the sonic can we the Sonic Netflix is a whole different can of worms. But um uh oh but I, I to 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 the, the planet was where the, the extra boss I don't know if that's gonna happen. I don't feel like they're putting a whole ton of ton of like we're gonna do this like I don't think that they're gonna overhaul like 'cause I think that would be a big overhaul to add in that, but also, uh, one other quick thing. Uh, they're releasing like music remixes again on the YouTubes, and that's cool. They did and they're a doing a free live concert. <gasps> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That would be so cool. To that. Which I'm... sucks, because they showed Unleashed is going to be part of the concert, but they didn't play the E-Rank music. Okay, what? Uh, okay, so make... in Unleashed, your music plays differently depending on what ranking you get. So, uh-huh, like, I played a for... little bit of it. So if you get E, it's, like, exclusively trumpets, but they're, like, playing wrong, and they're, like, missing their notes. Uh, yeah, and they're off-key. It's, it's, so it's amazing. You, you want bad music to be played at the symphony. I want that at the concert. I want Sonic to run by Eggman Land. I want them to play Eggman Land, which is a 60 minute stage. I want them to play part of Eggman Land, and then he runs by, and you just see the time, and you see the E, and then you just hear the Okay, now you're memeing. <laughs> okay, okay. So next, but, next uh, Oh, also, in terms of Sonic, uh, one thing we have to say is that hopefully this animated series will have the best line ever with the returning voice actor, which is, No copyright law in the universe can stop me! I cannot wait to hear that line again. And that is a real line. For those of you who have not played Sonic Colors... Sonic tells that to Eggman. Um, you, you, oh my you, God! There's one I, thing I, I, I don't, forgot. I don't, you you can't you you're making fun of a like one line, um when like years before that we got to hear constantly, "Hey, long time no see." Long time no see. You know what? <laughs> Name that the next Sonic collection. Make a 3D Sonic collection and call it the Long Time No See collection. Have, <laughs> have Adventure 1, 2, Heroes, and Shadow in one box set for $60 and call it the Long Time No See collection. I was disappointed no Sonic Adventure 2 and 1 uh, either bundle or remake. But, I bet they're going to be in that Sonic thing I, I, as 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles. They are not going to be able to push that for 60 if it's just 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles. Well, I don't think they're going to push it for 60. I think it's going to be 40. I mean, like... Okay, they can or, probably push thir- it for 30, 40. 30 or 40. Because I, I, also... Do you, uh, uh, okay, that's like that's like if you were to, to make Mega Man Legacy Collection... When, uh, with we got Mega Man's one through six and Legends one and two. Oh, <laughs> I mean, well, you got uh, we got classic two D action except for these two games. Those are three D action and have nothing to do with Mega Man. But we're throwing okay, that in. Point taken. But now anyway, before we so, move, so the next the next press conference was the JoJo event. Jo- okay. Oh my no. God. Next Part press six. conference okay. was Dragon Quest. Here, talk about it, Dragon Quest fan. Uh, they're remaking Dragon Quest 3, and they're making a Dragon Quest uh, 10 offline edition, which I want. Be, I want I want it to come stateside, because they, they, they are not releasing Dragon Quest 10 in, in the US of A. 
Because I'm a mo. And you're getting a four or a, but, but, a twelve. But the, right? the offline, the offline one is literally the uh, Dragon Quest Ten story mode, but in a more like in an RPG format. And I want that because then I can have it say that I own uh, Dragon Quest one through eleven, and then twelve is on its way. I mean, I don't have any again. Then twelve is going to be more adult and more gritty, so well, they say. But like, but twelve, like a uh, twelve, there's not anything to really talk about either. It's the same. It's the same problem I have with the Sonic uh, teaser trailer. Is like, what is there to say? It's all. It's like literally just a logo. I was disappointed in Dragon Quest, though. Where the hell? is my HD port of Rocket Slime, and I am actually being serious about this. Hey, um, you, you're crying to the theater, or what is it? What's that, what's that saying? Preaching to the choir. Yeah, you preach to the choir, dude, because I, I wanted, the, there's three or four Rocket Slime games. There's a pirate in, ship in, one. In, in Japan. I have wanted every single one of those to come stateside, and I've only ever gotten that once. Make Rocket Slime Collection, bring it over. I want to be on a pirate ship. I want to launch myself at the enemy. I want to fuck up some. Yeah. Oh wait, dude, do you know how many? Do you mean I'm? I you've said like three or four swears all night. And you know what? I'm gonna have to then go back and try and find all the swears. Cause I want to, and then it'll be like then, a fun scavenger hunt for you. And then, and then I'm gonna have to find some, my knuckle, like where I have the knuckles. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Wait, you censor me out with oh no? Uh, that's what I did. I think in like cave story or something. Oh no! Oh no! Um, uh, okay. Vince, let's actually okay. let's actually talk about the E3 stuff. Let's just talk about okay. Nintendo. We I, we did I, Ubisoft. We did Microsoft. I will say this really quickly. The indie game showcase had some really great indie games looking ones. They were great. The future game showcase had some more indie games as well as Troy Baker being hella awkward. Um, so that was a ton of fun. Next up, before we get to Nintendo, we have right, Capcom. Have, all right. I have one thing I want to say about Troy Baker. From what I yeah. heard, uh, people say that like if you ever are by him, he smells like cigarettes. Smells like what? Cigarettes. Like I think oh. I think he smokes a lot. Oh, that's, that, that's what I heard from my YouTube though. So don't take my Alrighty. Word. I've never met him. So it's then funny. I just thought I just say I thought it's funny. You know when I say it. Yeah. So we have Capcom. They they did what they said that they were gonna do. They showed off Resident Evil Eight, Monster Hunter Rise. Monster Hunter Stories, and the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles 1 and 2, which I'm really excited for Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Uh, what, what did they have to say about Resident... Isn't Resident Evil 8 already out? Or oh, they said yeah, DLC, DLC is on the way. to it um, due to 25 years, I think they were saying. Yeah. I got, I got really into Resident Evil for a brief period of my life and then just said, I can't follow any of this <laughs> Richard has played it a bit. I mean, like, uh, Richard had zero one two. That's all I've played. Rich, Richard I had a lot of fun hanging out with Mister X in that library. I, the I second played, one. I, I played Resident Evil: The Mercenaries. That was a good game. And also, I, I mean, I played Resident Evil Four. That's the one I beat. And I played through. So that a little bit into five. But, Anyone but, here into Monster Hunter stories or no, rise? I do not care. Uh, oh, wait, I, I pre-ordered two because it's turn-based RPG, so I'm trying to give it yeah, another I'm try. I'm hyped for that one. I'm hyped for that one. Okay. Also, wait. I re absolutely or wait, 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 <laughs> Richard. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, hey, I, I need to. I just have one thing I need to say. What? Um. Okay. They showed off Monster Hunter World 2, best game ever. Number one Monster Hunter fan here, bringing you latest in Gosh. Monster Hunter news. Make sure yeah, to, we got like, Rathlos. We got. <laughs> wow, I I just, realized, I just realized that that message that I sent you guys had like four or five typos. In it. <laughs> Number one but Monster Hunter fan, bringing you the latest in Minster Hunter news. 
make sure to lound the subscribe button and like, comment, and share the video. That oh my God. that was a sentence I wrote that is incoherent. Oh <laughs> but um, yeah. What you get uh, from me, man. Is it me, That's Richard, me. or uh? The, the art style in Monster Hunter stories looks like kind of fun. It looks very cartoony. Yeah. I'm hyped. I'm I'm hyped for it. I, I'm not going to get it right away. But now we've talked about games of the Guardians and disappointments and all sorts of conferences and somewhere in there, Scott searched for rabid Mario hard eyes. But then the moment arrived... Day was Tuesday. The time frame was noon. Get out of it! Here, here friends, Get is how Nintendo it. saved E3. As they typically do. You guys, the coolest thing in the Nintendo Direct, Monster Hunter Stories 2. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, that, the best thing joke. is that Cruise in USA is apparently coming out this fall. So, so that's 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 part of the Cruise in USA line. Yeah. Okay. I I wasn't entirely sure. I yeah, mean, I and you figured... can be a unicorn. You could just be a straight up unicorn. I that looked uninteresting to me, but in the same time, it looked fun. Yeah. So it's it, it, it like it was it was one where it's like, okay, I don't really care, and this is not something. I'd ever really want, but it looks fun. So, and if it it kind of looks like it's gonna be a cheapo title, like yeah. I'm, I, I at least that's kind of my hope. If 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 they, because if it's a sixty dollar game, that that doesn't look worth it to me. But if it was like a twenty dollar game, I'd be alone. Oh wait, there's one conference we forgot about. Limited run games. They announced like eighty some titles that they're making. I want to watch this. Whether it was a Shantae collection or Zombies Ate My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol or Mega Man in the Wily Wars or uh, One Step know. from Eden, but most importantly, River City Girls Zero and River City Girls Two were announced. So they are making those, and I am hyped. And those games were on the roster of games that I want from E3. But yes, Limited Run also won E3. And there, and there goes there there goes my counter again. The amount of time it will take me to play River City Girls is now at a thousand years from now. Your loss, but anyway, yeah, well, they, they, no, um, it's, it's your it's your loss because you're the one who talks about it. Cause if you didn't talk about it so much, that counter would be yes. at like two years. So limited run games. Uh, oh yeah, and we also missed Evolver Digital. Uh, they made a bunch of chili dogs and memes, and they're making a mobile game. And they're making some other games as are they, well. Are they, are, they, are they bringing out uh, Hotline Miami 3? Um, Hotline Miami 3, I think, was announced at Limited Run, maybe. Oh, wait, no, D uh, no D Devolver Digital teases Hotline Miami 3 for E3. Oh. What? Oh. It might have, I don't remember. Uh, I don't but know. I know that they showed off a mobile game. They ate a ton of chili dogs. But then... Uh, Limited run games. That. They can't do that. Even are bringing back plumbers <laughs> don't wear ties. They are bringing a physical edition of plumbers don't wear ties. Uh, but how are you going to play it? I don't know. The but only... they are also bringing back Castlevania Rondo of Blood. And they are making physical Sega CDs so you can play it on the Sega CD. Okay. And they are making I, physical Mega Man Wily War cartridges. I, well, I mean, I I do kind of want to buy that. I mean, like that's that's well, all my it, list is. Well, but the it goes up in like a couple days, so you have to pre-order it now. No, I mean it's no. night. Um. Okay. See you in the morning. Happy, technically happy Father's Day. Um. Um. For those of you who are I, listening, I freaking I all I, wish I, you a happy Father's I, Day. I, I I hate you so much right now. But. Why? Why?
If this is true, I need to buy the Wily Wars cartridge. No, no, I don't. I don't care about that. But like, what the? Um, where? Okay. Oh, add on. I mean, uh, H. Oh, what's this? Um, and there's like the Ghoul Patrol oh, Super no, Nintendo what? cartridge. Oh, what? I want to buy. I'm. Hey, I'm I'm right now on limitedrun.com, and you are making me want to spend money, and I hate this because it's. it's They're also getting a physical store later this year, so they might restock some of their stuff. Because uh, I I want I I will. There's also the Blaster Master Zeros that they announced, Double Dragon Neon, and hey. And also, zombies right, ate uh, my neighbors. But you also, yeah, like the the other thing is the the reason you suck is if like I want that Sega CD add-on. I want I want it because then well, you for know Castlevania what? Rondo of no, Blood. No, no or, well, I mean, is it is it an actual work, working Sega CD disc? Yeah, or a disc? No, I mean, you said they're bringing back the Sega CD. Oh no, no, the Sega CD disc for Rondo of Blood. Oh, well, you suck. You didn't specify that very well. You did. You oh, made no. it sound like they're bringing back the CD add-on so that you can play the Rondo of Blood oh, no. on the Sega CD. Which I'm oh, no. like, oh crap! If I could get a Sega CD, you know what? That means I could get Sonic CD. Although now that I'm thinking about it, I don't. I. I... Oh, wait, no, yes. I want a 32X, that's it, because then I can play Knuckles. Knuckles oh, yeah, that's also what Rondo Blood is getting reproduced for, the 32X. Okay, but, um, so let me run again. No. Okay, no, let's talk about Nintendo, because then Richard can sp- t- chime in and talk about Nintendo. And keep that about okay, so that was River City Girls 0 and River City Girls 2, now with online multiplayer... I am so hyped, but also limited run games announced like eighty titles, both okay. physical and digital. This, so get this, hyped. This doesn't. This did that, that, that. I said let's talk it's about. It's Jesse's Nintendo. wheelhouse, so he's just going to be uh, mansplaining. Yeah, but, okay. But I said I said let's talk about Nintendo, and he's just okay. was talking about River Sea Girls again. Hey, yo, everybody. Uh, end of June, Scott here. Uh, I currently editing obviously uh and i'm gonna edit this so it's down to two parts uh it ended up being like two and a half hours long and really uh this part tends to focus mainly on e3 and just the whole show in general uh this next one is almost entirely all nintendo uh so a to make it a little bit more manageable and less intimidating uh i'm editing it so it's two parts um so yeah first part's basically going to be e3 discussion second part's going to be nintendo direct discussion and geeking out about metroid and all the new announcements uh so stay tuned for that it'll basically be out like two days after this one so uh thanks and I'll also probably make a message at the beginning of the next one just to, you know, clue people in. But thanks for listening. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.